company establishes a fund of 120 from which it wants to pay an amount C to any of its 20 employees who achieve a high performance level during the coming year. Each employee has a 2% chance of achieving a high performance level during the coming year, independent of any other employee. Determine the maximum value of C for which the probability is less than 1% that the fund will be inadequate to cover all payments for high performance. So first what we're going to do, we're going to let X represent the number of employees uh, earning the amount C. Okay. So notice that what we're trying to find here is the probability that the total amount X times the C Right, because the C is the amount for each person multiplying by the X number, the random variable number, represents the total number, the total amount in dollars that will be paid, or whichever currency it's going to be. So the XC, the product of that, should be greater than 120, right? because we're talking about inadequate funds. right? So that probability should be less than 1%, so it should be less than 0.01, right? Because 1% in the number, as a number, represents 0 0.01. 1 divided by 100. Okay, so how do we find this probability? And notice that we can uh, divide both sides of the inequality by C, right? So we're going to we're gonna have 120 divided by C is less than 0 0.01. So notice that I'm also including the answer choices here because we're actually going to use the answer choices, unlike other questions when they were not really useful. You would have to do the work. But in this case, they are useful, so I'm, I'm including that. So obviously, we're going to start checking from the, from the highest number because we're trying to find the maximum value of C, right? And all these answer choices represent the value of C. So obviously we're going to check answer choice E first, but we, before you do that, you have to understand that since we're talking about independence provided here and also individual employee probability, right, 2% chance of achieving a high performance for each employee, and there's independence, we're talking about obviously binomial distribution, right? So the random variable X carries a binomial distribution with parameter 20, because that's the total number of employees, the n value, and the individual percentage, the individual probability of achieving a high performance level. Right? So in other words, this is going to be n, and this is going to be the p-value. We know the probability distribution, uh, the probability that the x, the random variable, is equal to the k is equal to n choose k multiplied by uh, p the probability, the p-value here, to the kth power multiplied by 1 minus p uh, to the power of n minus k. Okay, so we know that, that's the probability. So we're trying to see, notice that this can be also written as the probability 1 minus the probability of x random variable being less than or equal to 120 divided by c, okay, is less than 0 0.01. So I'm just rewriting the left side because I know that we can find the complement basically of this, right? So if, if the x random variable exceeds 120 divided by c, we can also say because this is the probability and the entire probability is equal to 1, right? So we know that we can subtract the probability of the random variable x being less than or equal to 120 over c. We can subtract that probability from 1, and that's going to give us that probability. right? So I know that. And now solving, we can subtract basically 1 on both sides of this inequality. We're going to have minus the probability is less than or equal to 120 over c is less than negative 0.99. So now we want to get rid of the negatives on both sides, so we multiply both sides by negative 1, and look what happens. The probability 
of this is going to be greater than 0 0.99, right? Because not only the size change, as you uh, should should learn by now, the uh, inequality direction also changes, right? So we change direction becomes greater than 0 0.99. So why is this important? We changed uh, the directions because this notation will help us sum up the probabilities, right? Because, for example, if we if we um, the pr the probability of x is equal to zero, for example, is going to be twenty choose zero, right? Because that's the n value, and the probability uh, the p value is zero point two to the zero, and then zero point ninety eight to the twenty. So basically, zero point ninety eight to the twenty, and this is going to be less than. Uh, this is going to be way less than zero point ninety nine. Right, and we need to we need to have more. Right, we need to have x is equal to one. That's going to be twenty. Choose one, zero point zero two to the first power, and then zero point ninety eight to the nineteenth power. Right, the difference of the twenty and one, which is basically going to be twenty times uh, zero point zero two, and zero point ninety eight to the nineteenth power. Okay. And we're going to need actually more than that. We're going to need x is equal to 2, 20 choose 2, 0 0.02 to the second power, and then 0 0.98, I'm going to use parentheses, to the 18th power. Okay? So why do we need that? Notice that if we substitute now the answer choices in here, let's start with the greatest one, right? Because we want to find the maximum value of C possible. So we're going to start with the E and we're going to go backwards in choice. If you check 120, right? If you check 120, you will have P, X is less than or equal to 1. Now, this is equal to the probability of X is equal to 0 plus X the probability of x being equal to 1, the random variable. And we already found that. Now we have to make sure that this is indeed greater than 0 0.99 before moving on to the next choice. So what is that going to be? Notice that if you plug this into your calculator, this is going to be less than 0 0.99. right? So plug this into your calculator, you're going to see that this is going to be about 0 0.94 or something like that, the sum of these two probabilities. okay? So that means that 120 is not going to work. 120, if a company establishes, um, if a company gives um, 120 to each person, right, with all the given conditions of 2% chance of achieving a high performance level for each employee, that means that the, um, they will be greater than 1% probability that the fund will be inadequate, right? So 120 is too much money, right? 120 is too much for a single amount for each employee. They have to pay less than that, right? So we check the next one. We check the 60. When C is equal to 60, we're talking about X is less than or equal to 120 over 60 is 2. And that's going to be these two and also one more, right? Because two is now included, and that's why we counted that two. Now notice that when you check this out in your calculator, it will give you exactly what you want. So 0.98 to the 20th power plus 20 times 0 0.02 times 0 0.98 to the 19th power which is 0 0.94, something like that, plus 20, choose 2, you're going to use the NCR function for that, times 0 0.02 squared, times 0 0.98 to the 18th power. And that's going to give you 0 0.99, But notice that this is greater than 0 0.99, right? So that satisfies the condition because we're trying to find this probability, right? 
and this is indeed satisfied. When c is equal to 60, the condition is satisfied. The probability, the cumulative probability for these three cases, separate cases, is indeed greater than 0 0.99. You might say, but if we check the 40, the next one, wouldn't that also be greater than 0 0.99, the cumulative probability? Yes, it will be. But you know what? 40 is not the maximum value of c, right? The amount. We should have the maximum value possible. So we stop at 60. We know the correct answer choice is d. So I hope this was fun. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.